Hey guys, so due to the success of my last places to visit in Bournemouth video, I thought I might make a second one, seeing as everyone seemed to like it so much. So since the last one, the weather seems to have got so much better and me and my housemates have gone out and done a bit more exploring in Bournemouth and we found some absolute gems, so I thought I'd share them with you. The first few that I'm gonna talk about are kind of more like days out. Um, so the first place we went to was a place called the Blue Pool. Um, this is over by Corfe Castle, I believe, which we still really want to go visit. I think it cost us about a fiver to get in, so it's reasonably cheap, um, and it was honestly so lovely. Like, we could have spent the whole day there, I think. So it's just like a really nice kind of like nature reserve. But once we did the walk around the pool and like explored the woods and stuff in that area, um, we then went and sat actually like by the pool. We ate our lunch, would be a great place for a picnic. Continued our walk and then went to the cafe. They sell all kinds of like snacks. Um, we all got their ice lollies, which are like homemade. Um, and it was so, so nice. Me and my housemates decided to visit Dirtle Door at sunset and it was stunning. Like it was so nice. Walked down and sat by the sea, um, which was again, so nice. We explored some of the like caves in the cliffs. I think that was probably one of my favorite days that I've had in second semester. Um, so if you've not been to Dirtle Door, I highly recommend it. It is a bit of a drive from Bournemouth. I think it's about 40 minutes. Um, I think getting to the blue pool was only about 20, 25. So it is a bit of a commitment, but if you pick the right day and you pick the right time, it's so nice. So I spoke about Hengsbury Head in my last video. Um, we visited again and I would say, I still recommend it. It's so nice. The day we went again it was on a really like drizzly day and I felt like I was in like an episode of like Sherlock or something. Instead of walking up, Hengsbury Head, we walked around it. So we walked along the sort of like pebbled beaches and then you reach a point where you get to like a sandy beach. As we were walking back, we kind of walked through a bit more of a like wooded area. It was just so nice. So in the complex where Odeon is, there's a place called Mr. Mulligan's, which is a crazy golf place. I went there when one of my friends came down to visit and it was so much fun. It's great for if you wanna take photos. It's fun, it's like an alternative to like bowling or something and they also do food there and they do drinks they also do certain like student nights where there's like discounts on like food and drink and i think you also get discounted tickets for the actual um golf and if crazy golf isn't for you um there's loads of like music acts that happen in bournemouth obviously you've got all the buskers around town but if you want to go and sit in somewhere i know that Amvil and the old fire station host quite a lot of indie bands we most recently went to the old fire station yeah i loved it um the old fire station is kitted out with a bit more equipment and than anvil anvil gives a very kind of like rustic basement vibe so if you like that i would recommend going to anvil if you like a bit more of a sort of like light show and like um you're a bit further back from the stage I would recommend Old Fire Station. My favorite thing that we've been doing is having barbecues. Um, we had a barbecue on the beach um, because you're allowed after 6 p.m. And it was so nice. We picked a really nice evening um, and the sunset that we had again was gorgeous. Get some really cheap um, disposable barbecues from Lidl. We played some like card games and um, had a couple drinks and just like sat and enjoyed the sunset. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend a barbecue on the beach. Just make sure you take the barbecue with you once you're finished. A couple places to um, get food and drink. Um, I went to Aruba for the first time. Um, I would definitely say Aruba's one of those places that you kind of go more for the experience. The food was really nice. It's just very expensive for a student, but the view is incredible. If you get a window seat or a seat on like the balcony, um, you get a view along the beach and straight up the pier. I also went to the Moon in the Square Spoons. I'd only been there once and I'd been downstairs, but I didn't know that um, upstairs they have like a roof terrace kind of thing. I really enjoyed it. Spoons is spoons, but like 
it was just nice having like a little like rooftop thing. It's bigger than um, the Christopher Creek one. The Christopher Creek one is good, but there's only like four tables out there, whereas the um, Moon in the Sky one has like so many tables, so you're more likely to actually be able to sit outside. I also went to a place called Carla Thai, which was really nice. The food was really nice, the staff were really nice, and the prices were so good as well. I think it was a starter and a main for like £9.50 or something like that, and that's without student discount, that's just like a normal price. So, um, really recommend we also went to cozy club for my housemate's birthday and it was so nice um the like interior like decorations really cute like it feels very like rustic and sort of like homey like i don't know it's so nice and the food is really nice our waiter was incredible he was lovely um and yeah the portion sizes and the prices are really nice as well. So definitely recommend that. And finally, um, we also visited a place called Banoffee Patisserie. I didn't actually buy anything there, but I'm going off what my housemates said. Um, and they said it was incredible. Um, they do ice cream and they do cakes. Um, the cakes, it was just nice to like go in there to be fair. Like I would happily sit in there and just drink a coffee. Like it felt very kind of like, like I'm in Paris or like Rome or something. My housemate bought one of the like smaller like heart shaped cakes and she said it was unreal. My other housemate also got some ice cream from there and said again that it was really, really nice. I also really recommend going to Chaplin's in Boscombe. It's a really kind of like kooky pub that's like themed around um, Charlie Chaplin, but also just like the film industry in general. So like um, some of the seats outside are like old cinema seats and the whole like interior and exterior of the pub is full of sort of like um, film posters, random little statues. It feels like going to like a mix of like your kooky aunt's house and the reclamation yard. Like it's got a really cool vibe to it so I really recommend. Anyway, that's all the exploring that I've done recently. Um, let me know if you try out any of these places um, and also please let me know um, if you've got any more recommendations for me. Some people left some really nice recommendations in the last video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found some new places to go explore um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!